guys, Ash and Jake from AJ Reacts here, and welcome to another live reaction video. This game, the first quarter final fixture in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, is taking place between Croatia and Brazil. This could really put the pressure on Argentina and the Netherlands from that fixture if Brazil do what most of us expect them to do, which is just cruise through this game as well. Um, however, Croatia, a team who's been synonymous with just Proving the doubt is wrong, right? Turn up again today, ready to spoil everyone's party and book their place in a semi-final, possibly featuring the Netherlands and Argentina. How are you feeling, mate? No, I mean, obviously I'm a little bit shocked with Croatia, but at the same time, you look at the players they still do have. You can never like doubt their quality. And uh, do you know what? I, in quarter-final, I would have, you know, thought that... That is achievable for yeah, Croatia at yeah. the beginning of the tournament. Depending on the draw, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, of course, you know, like Brazil, like, I mean, my favourite, one of your favourites as well. Everyone that had them down as, like, one of the favourites to go on to win the mm. damn thing. And they're the odds-on favourites for a reason, and they've still got brilliant quality. But just Croatians, mate. That fucking elk blood that they possess. Yeah. Like, they just, like... They just will not take it lying down. That's yeah. what I feel. That midfield, in my opinion, is better than the Brazil midfield. Oh, it's got more balance. Oh, 100%. It's got experience. It's got youth in a way. In terms of, we still yet to see Kovacic almost hit his peak. I yeah, think. yeah, he's still in his like, prime years. Yeah, yeah, he's still so, very young. So and yeah, then you've got, sense, you've got Mo Modric, Modric, one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Yeah, and he's base. still at 37 years of age, a top, Baller. top quality Baller. midfielder. Baller. And then you've got um, Brozovic, Brozovic who class holding midfielder. Uh, Inter, like that. but yeah. was, he's and been quality. They probably have a very solid keeper as well. Not as good as Alisson, but Livakovic, or Livakovic, however you no, want to pronounce him. him, he's a very good goalkeeper and he's pulled off some great saves, great penalty saves as well. Mm. They have been penalty proven. If this goes to penalties... There's a very strong chance. I will give Croatia, Croatia the edge take if they go to penalties. Yes. But at the same time, Brazil, they got some tremendous penalty takers. Yes, and do you know, but the thing is with Brazil, they've also got some penalty takers who can come off the bench. Someone like Fabinho is a very strong penalty taker. So we'll go through the lineups, guys. As far as Brazil goes, the same lineup as last game. No one should have expected them to change anything. In my opinion, the only change that should have been placed is on Rafinha. The boy could have had another hat trick. He's still yet to score this tournament, which is. Honestly, shocking to me. Um, and probably Militao right back. This what is the kind of... Paqueta? Paqueta. Well, the thing is, I made a point about him at the start of the World Cup is, I think it'll bring more balance if it had Bruno Gomares from Newcastle there. He's also holding midfielder, but he can push on, he can score goals. There's a bit of a lack of balance, but... However, what about Fabinho? Fabinho's too defensive with Casemiro. You can't have them both. It, it just doesn't suit their style. They may try that against France. To just hit France on the counter with Vinny, with Richarlison, Neymar, and Rafinha. In my opinion, Anthony and Rodrigo start ahead of Rafinha. Yeah. He's had a shocking tournament. This, I mean, it's all, it's all just like covered by the fact they've done so well leading up to now. But it's a good lineup because if they change it too much, it can complicate things. Yeah. So they've kept it nice and simple. A huge win in the previous game. Let's build on that. Yeah. What's, what's, what's Croatia's, yeah, it's pretty much the same against Japan. Uh, there's no changes. Like it's the exact same lineup. And to be honest, I, I mean, you could probably say like they didn't play against uh, that well against Japan, and Japan were the better side. But at the same time, Japan they were playing some unbelievable football. Like yeah. great, like they weren't getting the chances by Croatia's mistakes. They were making top quality chances. Yeah. Playing some tremendous football. Yeah. But the thing with Croatia. They just hold it out. They can be very good defensively, even though on paper they don't look like they have the best defence. They just grind it out and just get through like the byline and just go the distance. Yeah. And I feel, personally, with the prediction now that's coming, this is going to extra time. I think Croatia will hold out for quite a while. Do you think so? But I do feel Brazil eventually will... Uh, yeah, just just cracks the defence, and I'm going for three-one Brazil. They've got so much, like, just in terms of presence and dominance coming off their bench. We have got Martinelli. Yeah, the they've got Rodrigo. You got someone like um, Gamares and Fabinho who can come on. They have got a lot of depth coming off the bench. A, a, a key, 
a key thing to watch out for is Gavardio's battle with Richarlison. Gavardio has been already been scouted by Real Madrid. We want to bring him in in the summer. He's a top, top centre. We're off. ready to pay 90 mil for him. If Real Madrid are willing to pay 90 mil for a defender, he's going to be special. So it's going to be a battle to see. Because if, if he can put up the stops again this game, Mark Richarlison, who is on fire this tournament out of the game, right, possibly help out on the other side and stop Rich, um, Vinicius Jr., then I want that boy signed as soon as possible. I actually do. I don't care the fact that we've got Rudiger, Militao, Alaba. He is the future. And I'd rather get the future secured now than wait a couple of years, have someone like Chelsea sign him, who's been after him, and end up paying double that. Or even not even get the chance to sign him ever again. So in that sense, that's going to be key to watch. My prediction, very simple. I think it's going to be one in 19 minutes by Brazil. And I think it will be a, it'll be a tough first half for them. But I think second half, we're going to see Brazil win 3-1. And I think the third goal will come by just a counter-attack in the line last minutes because Croatia's pushed up the bodies. Oh, so we agree. 3-1, but I think it'll be in the 90 minutes. It won't go to extra right. time. Croatia are going to be very tired. They've not had much rest since their last um, match with Japan. So that's what I'm weighing into. And I think the tired legs are going to come through. We'll see how it goes, guys. Really? Oh, Vinicius. Vinicius. Oh, look at God. I'm watching Vinny play just makes me smile. No, no player does that to me at Real Madrid right now. Do you know who I do? No, no, watching him gets me riled up. Valverde gets me like fucking fiery. Watching Cruz, just like, I'm just like, I'm watching genius. Oh, go on, Vinny, do it again. Have a crack, lad. Vinny! Oh, if you had a bit more power on that. This is. Yeah. Where's the fucking overlap? There it is. Oh, oh, oh great block. Great block. That looked like a handball. I don't think it was. That was a great no block. No one's a piece. Was that, was that Gavardio? It looked like Gavardio. Yeah. That was a great block. As soon as someone overlaps him, Neymar. Neymar! Oh. You're fucking shit, mate. Honestly, he, do, he just beats people for fun. I, I don't understand how anyone like, can hate his play and stuff. He just does stuff like people just can't do. As soon as Neymar gets, uh, Vinny gets the overlap here, he's able to link up. It was Gavardio. That's a, that's a world-class block by Gavardio. This is better from Brazil. Neymar, just shoot there yourself. They're doing too much there. Not gonna... Oh, get up, Neymar. Get up. You dirty bastard, bruv. Right. He's some, oh, he's such a dirty scumbag. What is this? I don't know. Invincible Mendy, Pogba, Marquinhos, and human. So, well, Pogba's not even in the Pogba's not even in the world. The fucked. Panini, you're fucked. Oh, get the fuck up, you dirty little scumbag. He's been fouled. Bro, no, nah, he's a dirty diving little shit. Let's watch this again. Oh, fuck you, Neymar. Fuck you. See, they don't even want to show me. No, they don't... because they took the free kick too early. That is a total piece of shit. Why is he... Why are they touching up Richarlison? Why, why are the Croatians grieving Richarlison? I don't know. That's a bit dodgy, guys. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I look at him all. Oh, Vinny. Oh, no. Neymar. Oh, yeah. Leo Finney. <laughs> oh, Vinny. Oh, oh, what a save. He's got to lay off Vinny there. He's got to lay off Vinny. That's so oh, selfish by Neymar. That was see, selfish. Do you see what I mean with this guy? Do you see what I mean? What are they complaining? Oh, the handball. No, I don't know. It wasn't a handball. I don't think it was. It looked like it was above his shirt thing. So the yeah, shirt no. Well, we'll have a look at the replay here. Yeah. But Neymar's got to lay off Vinny. That's perfect by Vinny. Look, he plays a brilliant ball. Just lay him off. You're pulling off Vinicius for Neymar. Bro, what the fuck? Neymar, he's been your, the best player going forward for Brazil. And they're taking him off. Take off Neymar. Take off Neymar. That's Even a fucking joke. That's a fucking joke. That's a fucking joke. Even Richarlison would have been more understanding. Just don't take off an inch. He's been the best player going forward. Mate, mate, you know how much I love Ronaldo, right? You know how much I love him, right? If he was playing shit, he's got to come off. Like he's been playing now. Has a peep come out of me when he got benched by Ramos? 
No, because Ramos has been r ripping it up, yeah, this season. Bangs a hat trick, right? Your name should not justify you starting in your team, right? Mbappe starts because he's unreal. He's the best player in this tournament. Messi, he's got a big name, but he's unreal this tournament. Neymar's been shocking this tournament. This, shocking. This is a fucking junk. Neymar. You're oh fucking dog God. shit. All the good chances from Brazil have just gone to Neymar this half. And he's squandered every single one. Get him off. Off, please. Anthony. Cut inside. Come on. Militao. Oh. As soon as Anthony comes on, he's transcended that right side. So that's a point that's a focal point in their attack now. They're attacking on Anthony's side more than the left side. Oh! Oh, I, oh come on! Fucking eat it first time! Ah oh, no! That was an unreal. That was disgraceful! Oh, that deserved the goal, man! Neymar! Hit it! Oh, Neymar scored! He's had a dreadful, dreadful game! Is he just sued? He's put a dagger, a dagger into Croatian hearts with that goal. Oh, and they're dancing again. Fucking bro. <laughs> wow. Wow. He took so long to take that shot. But he somehow creeped it in in that tight angle. It finally worked. He gave the ball away so many times trying the same move. Come on. Come on. Back post. Come on, Back and the bread post. basket. Yeah! Again, the way he just skipped away from that clear foul by Casemiro. Show us Miss Croatia. Come on, show us Miss Croatia. Oh my god. Look at Modric here. Oh, Look brilliant. at him. That oh. boy. Mustard. He's mustard. Oh my god. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. That's poor defending. They're just backing off. What a finish. This is why I said. What a Don't finish. Take off Militao. It's come through Danilo's side. Militao had oh, that well, side locked down. Militao had that side locked down. Next thing you know, they go and score from there. Oh my God. <laughs> we are going to penalties, guys. Shit. It was never in thought for a second when Neymar scored that goal. Oh, I thought it was done. Dead and buried. And testament to the character, to... The mentality to add to the togetherness, everything of Croatia. This is what I was saying, the elk blood in them, bro. Honestly, the balls on them to get take that game to the Brazilians, right? They have earned this penalty shootout. Oh my god, it depends on who's going to take it right now. But one goalkeeper definitely looks like he's been involved more this game, and that's Levakovic. Yeah, it's so just Allison. He's and he's also so won cold. a penalty shootout already. Yeah, the confidence. Said, yeah, the confidence is sky high. We have, right. Allison has won many penalty shootouts of Liverpool. He has, right? But having said, I don't. I, this is going. This is going to sound mad for me. We've already done our predictions and said Brazil were going to go through beforehand. I think Croatia is going to take this. I still, I think Brazil. Still going to I think Brazil are going to be too. The heads are going to be down, frustrated. Just a lot of things going on in their heads. Croatia, this, they're on cloud nine. They're on cloud nine. All they've got to do is score their penalties. Doesn't matter if they've got a better team or whatever. All they've got to do is score that penalty. It's going to see who's going to get the first penalty, who's going to be taking it on which end, guys. Here we go. Vlasic steps up. And the middle. middle. That's a cool penalty. Cool as you like. Sends a keeper the wrong way. Goes straight down the middle. Cool. Rodrigo. He oh! saved it! He saved it! Oh, 
no, bless him. Oh, I feel for him. Like, I do. <sighs> He's got to save this to keep Brazil in this. Down oh, the middle oh, again? <laughs> That's ballsy. That is ballsy. That was close. That was really close. He's a legend. What a oh, pen. what a pen! Big Keeper went the right way, but it, it was nothing he could that do. That was a there. rocket. That was a rocket. I told you! Modric don't miss! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Oh, Croatia are going to the semi finals. He's missed. Oh, oh ice what a cold. Penalty! Man. Ice cold. What a penalty! Orsic. Orsic. What oh, a pen! What a pen! Oh, that's Masters! Are they that bad at penalties? He's whipped their forwards. Yeah. Oh, it's Marquinhos. Oh, man, they've still got Fred to take one as well. If he goes to sudden death. Marquinhos, he's got to score this. Oh, he's got to he's score gone this. down the middle. Score this. Score this. Say Neymar's this, Neymar's that. Fuck you. Man, he's done his bit. He scored the goal. He scored the goal. Oh, look, I'm just fucking happy he's out. But look, why no, sob off Vinicius? Why sob off Vinicius? Yeah, there were so many errors by the manager making the wrong substitution and the choices of penalties as well. I mean, oh Anthony. My God. If, if Argentina win now, Messi's got one of the easiest runs to the final I've ever seen. He in ain't done yet. This is all pain but for look, fucking look, Leo Messi. Wait, like, that's another subject for another day, but testimony to Modric as well. He was class and he's the greatest Harry midfielder of all time. I, I, I'm honestly there now. He's not better than Zidane. He's, greatest. he's, he's not better than Zidane, bro. He's the greatest, honestly. The longevity. The, the stuff he's done for Croatia. The stuff he's done for Croatia. But also, I do feel bad for some the vast majority of them Brazil players. They're top quality players. It's just one bad egg, but as a majority, uh, as, I'm, as, I'm, as a Brazil, as a manager, why are you sending Marquinhos instead of Neymar instead of Anthony? I'd rather him send Danilo and Alexandro. Marquinhos. Yeah. Oh, well, that's my prediction out the window. My prediction's still on the cards. Anyways, guys, what a game. What a quarter final. This World Cup is just full of upsets. It's the World Cup of upsets. And this is another example of it, right? If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. If you have any thoughts, my Brazilian fans, I'm sorry. I'm not like Jake. I'm not heartless. I'm sorry. No, no. Uh, I'm upset that Brazil are not in it. For the majority of them players, but I'm just glad they are. He's not going to get his own. I'm sorry for your loss, guys. I'm really sorry. But... You never know, you've got some young players who can be there the next World Cup and change it. Yeah. And probably the players like Vinicius and Rodrigo will hit their prime during then. You can have some superstars in more than one yeah, position. Exactly, got yeah. World class superstars. So keep your hopes up. And, you know, it, it, it's not over now. But for the Croatian fans, let us know in your comments below how far do you think you guys can go? Because you guys just shut people up for fun. I think people need to stop doubting them. Yeah. They really need to stop doubting them. We need to stop doubting them. Everyone needs to stop doubting them. Unreal performance, all right? Unreal. Their manager, right, after he leaves this post, he needs a big job. He is a hundred percent a top manager. His subs were the reason they got that goal. Petkovic, a sub, gets that goal. Yeah? Fantastic in that aspect, guys. If you also enjoyed it and you're new to, your ch to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button and join the AJ family. And please do hit the bell button as well to be notified of our live streams and our uploads. 
and of all, as always, if you have any friends or family who would love our channel, please hit that share button as well. And it's free, man. If you don't do it, you're just being childish. But this has been Ash and Jake from AJ Reacts. We love you all. Much love. Take care. Fuck you, Neymar. Soon.